Hi, this is Dan from userspice.com and now that we've set up userspice and played around with the permissions a little bit we need to get to the real point of userspice which as I've said over and over and over again is not userspice the point of userspice is so you can build something really cool now this is not a programming class I'm not here to teach you how to program I'm assuming that you understand the basics of PHP and HTML and all that so I'm going to just walk you through the very basic procedures of adding pages and adding features and and making this site do stuff. Um, some of the code I'm going to use is really ugly, but I'm using it for a really specific purpose. Uh, so let's just take a look at the folders. As I told you before, we have these blank pages. And there are special blanks, and there's this default blank page here. So I'm going to go into the special blanks real quick because I just want to show you there's some neat folders in here and or some neat files in here that are kind of examples of what you can do with bootstrap and so I'm just gonna take this random one I'm gonna grab charts and I'm gonna drag it to my wheel folder just sticking it in my root and so if you come over here to wheel and I go to charts oops, charts not works you can see that basically you have all these features and things like that that are part of Bootstrap, and so what I did is I included all of those, um, you know, all of those example files to show you examples of how to do sliding menus and how to do, you know, how to do graphs and how to do charts and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's all there. Play around with it, get a feel for what's there. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to start with blank page, and blank page is just a simple template. Um, I'm going to copy it into the root folder, so now it's going to be here. I've got blank page, and I'm just going to rename it wheel.php. So now we're going to go into our code editor, and you're going to see that wheel.php is down here. And this is a basic user spice file. There's not much going on here, just all the includes, everything you need to get started is in there. Um, way too much space up here. We'll go ahead and delete that just because it makes me feel better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some basic just HTML. You'll see that there's places to stick your PHP. If you want to use a side nav bar, you can include something like that here. But we're going to come in here, and I'm just going to include some random things. So uh, if I come in here, let's say I'm going to use some style, and I have some PHP styling, which I normally wouldn't do, or I guess CSS styling. I wouldn't normally do that right in this file, but I'm going to go ahead and drop it in. I'm going to drop some CSS styling in there, and then I'm going to come down here, and I've got some JavaScript and some access to some other CSS that's part of another project I'm doing, so I'll just drop that down there, just basic HTML stuff. And then I have some HTML from another project that I'll just go ahead and drop in here. So basically what I've done is I've stuck all my content between these tags that say you know basically content goes here so I stuck all my content right there between those content things and now I'm gonna save it and now because I'm using some JavaScript I have some other files just some random uh, graphics and things like that I'm just gonna drop in here and so now I have basically made a standard HTML page with a little bit of JavaScript, a little bit of CSS. Again, I'm not here to teach you how to do that. But so I'm going to come in here to wheel and I'm going to go to wheel.php. And as you can see, I have a little prize wheel here. And this isn't finished. We're going to work through this project a little bit. But I can come in here and choose how much power I want to give the wheel. I'm going to say I'm going to give it just a little bit. And I'm going to spin the wheel and the wheel is going to spin. And who knows what we're going to get. It uh, looks like six, maybe five. Oh, four, five. Okay, we got five. Great. It doesn't tell you that. But, um, you know, it's just a basic thing there. I can hit reset and the wheel is going to reset. Um, but the problem is when I sign out, I'm going to get just the default user spice homepage, which I expect you to delete. Um, but anybody can see that. And what if I want to charge for access to my wheel? That's a problem because anybody can go to that wheel.php file. So let's go ahead and sign in. I'm going to sign in as admin. And I'm going to prove to Google that I am not a robot. Uh-oh, it doesn't believe me. So I'm going to select all the food. That looks like some kind of skewer. That looks like some kind of chicken. 
Can't really tell what that is. That probably is food, so I'll click it. Good, I passed the test. So now I can log in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to admin pages and I'm going to see this wheel.php file that I just created. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm going to make it private. And I'm going to say only teachers and only administrators can visit my fancy wheel.php file. I'm going to hit update and now I'm going to sign out. So now if I go to wheel.php, I'm going to be directed to the login page. I can do that over and over again until the cows come home. If I'm not logged in, I cannot visit it. So wheel.php takes me to login. Um, so I'm going to log in. I am going to prove that I am not a robot. I'm going to tell it everything that has grass in it. It's a little iffy on if that one has grass, but I'm going to hit that and I'm going to log in. So now, if I come back here to this wheel.php file, I have access to it. So, you've successfully controlled access to one page, but now I want to teach you how to do some things that are dynamic, and you're going to need to wait for the next video to do that.